hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a floating action button in figma this is a very common widget in mobile applications and if you want to learn how to create something like this keep on watching and let's go into the video please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this so as you can see here i have all my icons and the main floating button and basically what we want to do is to have two states of the button the initial state where we only see the action button and the second state where the button and all the actions that can be taken is out so in my case it's going to be the social media icons that we see here so after i'm done properly renaming all my layers the next thing i want to do is to make sure we have the initial states of the button i'm just going to drag this out and i'm going to reposition the x in the button to have a plus sign just like you see here and i'm going to replace that initial button with what i currently have the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure all the elements are properly positioned to what it looks like in the final state i'm just going to select all the icons and i'm going to hit shift a to create an auto layout i'm also going to select the frame containing all the icons and also the main floating icon button and i'm going to hit shift a and i'm going to align both to the center i'm then going to hit the minus button on the auto layout to remove the auto layout effects from the frame i'm going to do that for both the icon frame and the entire frame itself then i'm going to select all the icons and drag it up one layer to the parent frame I'm also going to delete the frame in which the icons initially existed. Now we have just one frame with all the icons and the main button. After that, I'm just going to duplicate this because this seems good enough for our final state. Then for our initial state, I'm just going to select all the icons and I'm going to align them horizontally. I'm then going to drag all these icons down and shove it at the back of our main floating action button. And for our final state, we still need to make the floating action button look like a close button so that it implies that we are closing up the action button. Now to properly use a prototype of this, I'm going to select both frames and I'm going to click on create component set. And for the interaction, I'm going to click on the initial button, the initial state button, and I'm going to drag the prototype um, wires to the next state i'm also going to return the favor from the final state back to the initial state and then set the animation to smart animate i'm also going to set the animation of the initial interaction to smart animate now i believe we are done with the interactions between the variants of our components i am now going to switch to the assets panel and I'm going to bring in the instance of our component. To prototype this, I'm just going to click on the frame icon and I'm going to select a mobile frame and I'm going to shove the instance of our component in the frame. And this is what the final design looks like. I hope you guys really find this helpful um please don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in my next video